Yo, what's going on everyone? Today, well, I already ate a lot of my popcorn, but I have some popcorn. So if you hear a little bit of asthma, I'm sorry. But we need some for My Little Pony. So let's get to it. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 2, Episode 4, Luna Eclipsed. Grandpa from Ponyville Retirement Village? <laughs> Star Swirl the Bearded. Star Swirl? Oh, it's a Halloween. Okay. Sometimes I'm not a fan of watching holiday episodes when it's not that holiday. But the show goes on. Pinky! He's a chicken. <laughs> the borders. Dang. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, so far I like Pinky's costume the best. The most. Whatever it is. Tell me this tale. Listen close, my little dear. Nightmare Moon. I'll tell you where you got your fears. Save ourselves from her searching eyes. Oh that's cool folklore about the Halloween. From a water sword question. Ooh. I love this blue color. Princess Luna. And yeah, Princess Luna. Yeah, she's back. This is her first appearance since the pilot episode. Let's go. Bro, I love her. Oh my gosh. I'm in love with her hair. Her colors. No, children, no. You no longer have reason to fear us. Screams of delight is what your princess desires. Not screams of terror. You're being aggressive. Mm, they're all scared of her. Yeah. Change her back to good, but it seems like she's having some trouble adjusting after being gone for a thousand yeah. years. Yeah. Because her tonality and stuff, it's very aggressive. World, a bearded, commendable. <laughs> hey, she knows. Hey. Finally, some pony who gets my costume. Unleashed the powers of harmony upon us and took away our dark. <laughs> She's so extra. Thing, right? But of course, we could not be happier. Is that not clear? Well, you kind of sound like you're yelling at me. Yeah. Oh, Canterlot voice. It is tradition to speak using the mm, She's old fashioned. That's why she can't assimilate with society. This is cool. Fluttershy can give you some Yay! She's delicate. Fluttershy is teaching Luna. Oh, I'm so here for this man. Please. Oh, come on, Nightmare Night. Uh, <laughs> it's, it is you. Oh, Nightmare Moon. Oh, Nightmare Moon. Ah! No. She's fed up with it, but oh man, this is cool. Is this Luna? Charmed. Charmed. <laughs> My voice. The sweetest. Now teach us last to speak as thou speakest. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. How is this? Perfect lesson over. <laughs> How about now? Yeah. Now you're getting it. And how about now? Better. Yes. Well done. Oh ah! 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 no! Stop it! Nay! Wait! Nay, children! Oh my gosh! I kind of love rarity. No rarity! I'm so surprised, especially when it comes to costumes and clothes and stuff. What is this fun thou speakest of? <laughs> that was fake as though. Have some fun. I did it. Fun. In what I <laughs> this fun. Oh, I do, oh my, bro, this is so endearing, man. She's learning how to like be social, be a civilian. Double. Us 
me. Luna, Fair Applejack. Luna. 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 Show me to these bobbing apples. <laughs> I love this. Uh, no, bro, Pinky, no. Oh. Fair villagers, please do not back away. I love this. I love this so much. Again, she's just like learning how to be better. And then now she's reverting back to their old ways. Um, but now she's. Have some spells and turn them alive. <laughs> this is kind of bad. Yeah, and now she's back to that authoritative, commanding uh, presence. Teal pony. Listen to her words. Princess, remember, watch the screen. Avatar states. Traditional royal Canterlot voice for what we are about to say. Since you choose to fear, dishonor her with this insulting celebration. Dang. We decree that Nightmare Night shall be cancelled. <gasps> no more Halloween. Spells. <laughs> Pinkie Pie, you remember Princess Luna, right? Ah. Oh. The ringleader of the frightened children. <laughs> Please. No. Oh no, bro! Rainbow Dash ruined it. It's really fun to be scared. Pinky, Pinky, everyone is just. <sighs> But yes, fun. That might connect to. Princess Luna, I finally. Oh my gosh. Forgive me if I withhold my enthusiasm. I'll explain everything on the way. My first nightmare night would be my very last. Little Pip, now don't you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because she threatened to cancel it. Really fun, scary, but fun. It's. Shall have to bring my favorite princess ever. Ooh. She said yes, guys. I really do like you, princess. Yay. True. For different reasons, but yay. I mean, oh, most wonderful of nights. Bill has learned that even if some pony seems a little intimidating, yes. even them your friendship, you'll discover a whole new pony underneath. Yes. And even if my star swirl the bearded costume <laughs> still turned out to be the best nightmare night ever. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Okay. Okay, guys. Um uh... I think I love Princess Luna. <laughs> um, I love the character. In this one episode, technically since the pilot episode, she returns and she made her mark on me. I love her design. It's dark bluish and then her hair color. It's obviously that blue color that I just really, really love. It's like that royal kind of lush blue and then the way that she is portrayed with like being old-fashioned and authoritative because that's how it was a thousand years ago and now needing to sort of assimilate into the modern time because the way that she comes off is very aggressive and it's scary and this also takes place during halloween so that was a cool way to kind of blend the way that she is naturally but also still trying to make amends and be better, be more approachable, more social. But then Pinky's being crazy. And at every time, the folklore, the nightmares, the stories, they all get inside their heads. And now they freak out whenever they see her. Even Fluttershy. I was 
so down for a very wholesome moment between the two, but it didn't work out that way. But yeah, Princess Luna, there's already a lot to love about her. And I just love that duality of like, oh yeah, what is fun? And then learning about it and applying it. But then you have the other side of it where she gets kind of commanding and scary and threatening. So it's like that kind of sides of being thoughtful or trying to, but again, still maintaining that old fashioned way. And I think the way that she speaks, I kind of like it more than rarity. She incorporates it better. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just love how she says it. But it's more because you know she's from a thousand years ago versus I think rarity is more just, oh, I'm elite, I'm luxurious. Yeah, I love this episode. I don't know if it's just because I am maybe fixated on Luna, but I think that's more their presence and the way that they were written in this episode. I think it just really stood out to me. Probably I'm going to have to expand the pony list to, to not just six, but now seven with Luna. But let me know if... Um, Maybe people had the same reception that they had with Luna as I do right now. Because, um, yeah, this doesn't really happen where I just kind of get enthralled in the character. And I want to just see more of them. Or I'm just really interested in that story. And I'm like, okay, I hope they get incorporated bits and pieces of it. And even then, too, more historical stuff. We have the Nightmare Moon and then uh, even Twilight's costume. So, small significance of the past and all these things. But a jam-packed episode. This season is starting off incredible. We already had that great special with the opening uh, episode 1 and 2. Then we had the crazy Twilight Sparkle going psychotic, creepy pasta thing. And now we have Luna. So, what a start to season 2. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys for joining me. And I will see you when I...